Stereo. Why do you want the internet? Why do you want a computer? Once you have a computer, why do you want to hook it to? Oh boy, any of that stuff. So bear with me. We'll try to find out. First, I'm going to ask Christine. Um, ladies first, right guys? Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Christine, t just give me a, a little idea of what. I mean, computing's come a long way. I remember uh, well, back in the old days. <laughs> Um, when I had my Commodore 64 and VIC-20 before that and everything, they made things called a modem and you could talk over the phone lines with, uh, uh, or get into certain areas and there wasn't that much out there, uh, the areas you could get into, and then all of a sudden it seems like almost overnight there's the internet. Tell me a little bit about it and why would I want to be hooked into it in the first place? Hi, everybody, and I want to thank you, Kevin, for uh, an opportunity to talk to you all. Um, what is it Internet about? The way that we look at it, it's, um, it's a new way of life. We're looking at it as a communication revolution. Um, it ties people all over the world. It allows people um, to communicate to everywhere. Um, it brings the local community closer together and teaches kids and uh, every one of us new skills. Um. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, we, we're talking about the, the ability to tie things together and I know that when I get on the internet, um, the, I'm just amazed that I'm able to pick up a newspaper that might be published in England mm -hmm. or Ireland, which mom would like um, and uh, be able to just see things as they're going on and basically besides the basic service charge for internet services um, there's enough of them here and that's folks why we had three different providers that you can get a local phone call so it's not really costing you anything for the call itself uh, just costing you for the service but be able to talk to anybody anywhere in the world I, I think that's pretty cool, I, and I think that's the next step, maybe, in in computing. Um, I, I'm sure you agree, uh, Glenn. I'm sorry. Let me uh, let's swing to you. I mean, okay. your perception, so to speak, of of uh, what the internet means to uh, present, past, and future computer users. Well, internet provides uh, a lot of opportunities for people to talk to each other. It provides it through um, email, which you can then send messages back and forth. It provides us through chat rooms, which you can talk live to a person. Uh, there's also programs out there that you can actually be on the World Wide Web and surf the World Wide Web with seven other people and chat to each other through a program called Pow Wow. So, um, and then there's also news groups. News groups allow you to uh, basically look at any topic you want to. Um, also talk to people who are interested, make postings on those news groups to people who are interested. Like, for example, if you have uh, an exact part you need for a motorcycle, you just go into a news group that may be alt.motorcycles to see if anyone has that exotic part anywhere around the world to ship it to you. So it, what it does and what it does for businesses is it turns a local business, as Christina was saying, or a local community into an international presence. Uh, you can turn your business and make it known internationally through uh, advertising on the World Wide Web. Yeah, that's certainly interesting. Jimmy, what, you and John, what, what got you guys started? The thing that I think is so amazing about the Internet is when people advertise, you know, in the past few years, they do local papers, you know, they do, you know, New Jersey State papers. Well, this gives a, a business an opportunity to market the whole world. So your business isn't just known locally now, it's known globally. So I think it's going to change the way that business is done all over the world. I mean, companies, phone bills, people spend, you know, millions and millions of dollars on phone bills, when all you have to do now is get on a computer and send an email to someone halfway across the world. It's, uh, it's going to revolutionize the way business is done nowadays. Well, and the, um, do you think that's going to really piss off the phone providers? Or <laughs> well, no, because they got to make their money through the T1 services from all these different companies that are now going online. So uh, mm. I think it'll balance itself. Oh, out. okay. <laughs> I just don't want to steal anybody's thunder. Personally, I've um, been basically learning about computers, just like the folks who have been watching have and the people who have been on. 
And um, you folks at home who have been watching realize that we, the uh, first show I think we took apart a computer, and uh, second show, I, gee, I think we tried to put it back together and make it work. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember. But we're always trying to inform and educate you folks about computing. That's why the show is live. That's why if you feel like it, pick up your phone and call us at 681 3331 um, 681-3331. I have to write it down because I keep forgetting. Um, hopefully I wrote down what I just said. And the other thing is is that not only will you be able to, to talk to us here and if you're interested in the internet, find out some things about it. If you need to know a little bit more, either watch the show more, get us on email. Uh, all the folks that are here, I'm sure, before the show's out, will uh, provide you with some email addresses, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind answering your question. I've always found all of these folks more than helpful, uh, especially to me. I started out, I got a lot of help. Um, I recently f learned how to make home pages using um, HTML. There's a lot of things that uh, people may or may not know about and need to, uh, need to find out. And I'm thinking maybe after the show, we're airing from 7 to 8 tonight, Maybe a little after 8 o'clock, uh, I think I'm going to go over to the Karma Cafe in Delmar, have a cup of coffee. If you folks at home feel like it, maybe I'll drag everybody with me, and you can stop by, and we'll have a, uh, a little powwow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not the program, the, <laughs> the, uh, the sit-down, and, and talk a little bit more about the Internet. I think it gives us a little bit more opportunity. One of the things, if, if uh, the camera can zoom in on our uh, computer screen, We'll get a little bit of an idea of what um, what we're looking at. As a matter of fact, I think what's happened is that um, Glenn uh, has his notebook. We have a lot of notebooks here and only one big monitor, so um, I can only there we go. Uh, hook one of them up at a time. Uh, I guess this is Technocore's communications homepage. Now let me back up just a tiny bit so we don't confuse anybody. And while we're looking at this. It's home page. A, well, it's not. We're not on the internet right now. Okay, we're not on the internet. We had to uh, reboot to. Oh, get that's this right. Back on. Okay, this I'm is, sorry. This is the the top screen of. Of your computer. Of my computer. Oh, yeah. Sorry, but it looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, there's when people buy computers, there's some things already built into them. Um, most of the times nowadays, people are going to wherever they happen to buy one, but. You just about can't buy a computer without a package of software already installed on it. So you probably end up with uh, Windows 95, or if you uh, really twist your arm, uh, go back to Windows 3.11 or NT Workstation or something. But in any event, you'll end up with an operating system. You'll end up with some different programs, maybe word processing, etc. You'll also end up with usually one form or another of online service. Now, online means through the phone lines, and, and I don't want to get real technical about it, but the online, so America Online, for instance, and CompuServe, and uh, I guess Prodigy is one or the other, are not the same as the Internet, right? No, they're their they're, they're own, own private online service, but they give you access to the Internet. Okay. Um, Christine, let me ask you, what, um, what are the benefits over, I mean, if, if I get the computer and I'm at home, uh, and, you know, I'm a fairly new family to computing, so, gee, I'm going to toy with America Online a little bit. Um, I, don't, I obviously don't personally see anything wrong with that. It's a good way to kind of start moving towards um, what you want to do and then maybe jump into the Internet later. Um, have you, you've probably used America Online sometimes. We'll look at it. Admit it. <laughs> 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 we, we're not going to, we, oh, it is going to be on tape. I was going to say we won't tape it, but we will. Um, and why would you tell somebody, well, you know, America Online's good. It has a lot of uh, little things that you can use, but why would you recommend somebody go right to an Internet service as opposed to uh, one of the online services that gives you some um, accessibility to the, uh, to the Internet? Um, one of the main reasons that... Um people are looking for is the price. And when you go to America Online, they will charge you 2 to $3 an hour. Mm -hmm. So when you go with a local provider, it's usually unlimited. So yeah. you can stay online as long as you want, 
and the price is going to be one predictable price of 19, you know, it depends whoever charges yeah. what. But well, they're all uh, pretty much in the ballpark, right, guys? I mean, I don't think anybody's uh, right. off the wall, and, and for somewhere in the vicinity of $20 a month, you can get on with a local number. Uh, I've also noticed that with some of the online services such as uh, America Online, which I had for quite a while, um, was that, jeepers, I think I had to use a freehold number for 14.4, that's the modem I happen to have, and um, that was a toll call every time I used it. Right. Um, I've noticed with, with everybody just about, except for Technicore, because you guys are down in Jackson, but I don't know how your numbering system works, but with Mammoth and Jersey Shore, it's a, it's a local call. You know, you can find somewhere. And so you guys basically got the two county area, I don't know if you want to call it sewn up, but covered so that somewhere you can always find a local number, yeah? Yeah, we have a Spring, Spring Lake location and we have a Red Bank location. So all of those different locations are local. And um, that's one of the reasons. Another reason that people have to watch for it's the speed of the modem. If the speed of the modem is 2400 baud rate, you can connect to America Online and you're going to stay, in addition to waiting for a very long time for information coming up on your screen, every minute counts. So you're going to pay, you know, we're talking about $150 of bills a month. That yeah, come well, I guess us. if I spend as much time on one of those services as I do on the Internet, I, I think uh, I'd be in big trouble. Right. And, <laughs> and another thing that when you connect to America Online, you don't directly connect to the Internet. You're connected to America Online system, and then you're connected to Internet. So you really can't customize your applications. America Online customizes. So if America Online doesn't use Netscape, you know you don't have a choice. I understand. So and uh, so uh, flexibility is important, and the local provider gives you flexibility. Sounds like a good uh, good thing for me. Listen, I want to talk about. Are we going to? Uh are we going to actually log on so yeah, people can see what's going on? First break. It's um, kind of noisy. Sure, or whenever you feel like it. Uh, first, let me talk to Gina. Gina. Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay. Thanks for watching. It's a good show. I've never I just flipped into the channels and came across you. You were channel surfing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you've heard about surfing the net. This is surfing the channels. It's okay. Everybody does that even with, uh, with the other show that I usually have on. They just happen to be... Uh, sliding through and happen to find something. So uh, we'll see you at Karma later, right? You're going to come down and have coffee with us? If I had a babysitter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, Christine? <laughs> How about my just, daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Christine's daughter's here. Maybe we can send her. I'm sorry. I, I'm, just, I'm just having some fun. Go ahead. I'm, uh, ask away. Recently, I wrote a, I wrote a web page, a home page. Okay. And I wanted to find, about, find out about getting a getting it published, but locally, where I can go there and give them my changes instead of having to mail them in or stuff like that or email them. I wanted somebody close, like the tri-state area, to uh, publish my page. Okay, and, and is your page like a home page or the is it... a 14-page site. Business or the personal? Or? It's... Sounds I like have business. a business one and a personal one. I okay. see. Well, there's, there's a number of things we can do, and... Um, Glenn and uh, Jim and then Christine can um, sweep up a little. <laughs> Where are you located, Gina? In Farmingdale. Okay. And I uh, talked to them about service and also talked to them about FTP. It's called File Transfer Protocol. It will allow you to transfer your information, your home pages, up into their service. So okay, I wasn't real familiar with the the programming, mm -hmm. I just bought a web editor and put the thing together, basically winged it, and it looks really good, so I, I wanted to get it out there. Now, d does the web editor you have allow you to see what your product looks like? Yes, I browsed, um, used Mosaic and Netscape to see how it came out. Yeah. I, I, see, what's amazing, um, we're, Gina, we're kind of in the same boat, because I fairly recently, um, uh, Jim and John were helping me out and said, you know, well, you try the HTTP and, or HTML and make your own home page. I'm going, oh, man, I, I've never heard it. No, thank you. But I got on and found something called WEP, I think it was. And it was a, a, a simple web page editor. And 
I did the same thing, and I made it, and then I said, well, how do I figure out what it looks like?